Jam with four ingredients in five minutes. So let's talk about ingredients. First of all, I have 12 ounces of fresh raspberries, and you can do this with frozen raspberries if you can't find fresh raspberries in your supermarket, but try to use fresh whenever possible, so that's 12 ounces, and then I also have just a half a teaspoon of lemon juice, and then a cup and a half of granulated sugar, and then just a potato masher. So what I'm going to do, the first step is I'm going to go ahead and heat up my sugar, and this sounds a little funny, but just put it in a microwave-safe glass, and microwave it for about a minute to a minute and a half on high. And so I'll see you guys after my sugar has been microwaved and heated. So my sugar is waiting for me in the microwave. Again, it was just done um, in the microwave for about a minute to a minute and a half. And in my pot here, I have it on its lowest heat setting possible. And I have just taken my potato masher and just gone in there and just gently pressed to just release some of its juices, just gently. At this point, you don't want it to be completely pulverized, and it will look like this. And you want this to be on low setting for about a minute, and then you want to raise it up to medium. And it's going to kind of gently bubble like that. And then what you want to do at that point is take out your sugar, and just be very careful because it will be hot even with the minute and minute and a half it's only been in there. And you just want to go ahead and just add just a little bit of sugar at a time. And this is just going to be a layering process. And then this is at medium. So go ahead and combine that. Let me get a spoon. And go ahead and combine that. And it's at medium setting. It's going to keep bubbling away. And then add in a little bit more sugar. And just keep adding sugar gradually. And you don't want any of the sugar crystals to be on the sides of the pan. You want it to all kind of be mixed in here. That's going to help create that nice gel consistency. So I'm going to let this go for about two minutes, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, so it's been boiling for just a few minutes now, for just a couple minutes. And you want it to be on high at this point. And I've already added all the sugar, and you want this to go just for about two or three minutes more. And then at that point, it'll basically be done. So at this point, you want to add just your half a teaspoon of lemon juice, and then just continue to stir. You just want to make sure this is uncovered, and you want to stay with it and stir every so often. And at that point, after it's been boiling away for about two or three minutes, you want to just take it. What you'll want to do to test it, and I'll show you this again, is just dip your spoon in there and see how it gels up when you when you lift up the spoon and you just let it cool. See if it gels up. That's when you'll know that it's ready. But this is still in the process of being ready. Just a couple more minutes and it'll be done. So just continue stirring, and I will see you guys soon. <laughs> All right, so I turned it off the heat. And basically, it looks like this. It's really thick, and like I said before, you'll know when it's done when you dip your spoon in there, and it just thickly coats the front and the back like this. It's a really nice, thick, jelly mixture, or consistency. And it'll thicken up even more as it, as it you know, cools off. And basically, I, I like to store this in um, sterilized mason jars. And this is great as hostess gifts or even like part of a gift basket. And I love, love, love this because it's all natural. It doesn't have any fruit pectin. As you saw, we used four ingredients and this came up together in five minutes. So I love, love, love this jam. I hope you guys love it just as much. And thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.